First, a man now officially charged in connection to a deadly shooting outside of an Overland Park Elementary School. Anthony Grable facing charges of premeditated murder and attempted murder. Prosecutors say he shot two of his co-workers, killing one of them. 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed is live now in Johnson County. You were there as the suspect made his first appearance in court today, right Kat? That's right, Kevin and Rhiannon and, and Anthony Grable actually appeared in court today through a video feed. And while he was not actually physically present here at the Johnson County Courthouse, the family of the man he is accused of killing was present. He walked into the room silently. 32 year old Anthony Grable making his first court appearance through video at the New Century Detention Center. Grable is charged with murder in the death of Todd Davis, a co worker he's accused of shooting at Sunrise Point Elementary on Tuesday. I can't fathom that this would happen, especially at work. Todd Davis's son Tanner says he was an amazing dad who leaves behind three kids. The family set up a fundraising page to help pay for his burial because he didn't have insurance. It is absolutely overwhelming to see uh, the community behind us, the people that have loved him, that love us. Grable is also charged with attempted murder for shooting a second co-worker, Efren Gomez. He remains in a medically induced coma in the hospital. Grable faces assault, robbery and burglary charges in two carjackings that followed the shooting and he was taken into custody at one of the carjacking victims homes. Is there anything you'd like to say, Mr. Grable? While Grable had nothing to say, the family of Todd Davis wanted this to be known. He was a father. He was a family man. Us kids were always put first. No matter what job it was he took, he took it to pay um, and to take care of us. And Todd Davis's family did not want to appear on camera for privacy reasons, just to explain that. Um, Gabe, Grable's bond was set at $1 million. He asked for a public defender to represent him, and he will appear in court next Friday. Reporting live in Olathe, Cat Reed, 41 Action News. Cat, thank you, Deputy.